Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And we are back watching Breaking Bad Season 2, Episode 9 today. So last episode, we finally met Saul. Saul? Saul, I think, Saul. yeah. Better call Saul, as I remember by the yeah. episode. We met him, interesting character. Very much Hank vibes for me. Yeah, Hank vibes, but he's very quirky, isn't he? He brings an interesting dynamic to the trio, I guess, now. Or the duo, now a trio, because he wants in on the action. He wants a piece of Heisenberg's cake. Yeah, well, like I was saying last time, he really shifts the dynamic because Heisenberg has been the more mature, experienced one of the group, and Jesse's always been the rash, younger one. Now we've got somebody who out experiences even Walter yeah. in all of this by, by a long shot. And Walter almost feels like the Jesse in this relationship, which is just an interesting dynamic shift, I, I guess. Yeah. And it's funny because it's only been one episode and they've already established those hierarchies. Wait till we see more. I mean, they tried like, what's it called? Like taking someone hostage. They started Yeah, they didn't do a good job. I, I do like how they have that realistic element where, like, yeah. they are really rookies and they're constantly screwed up for them. Yeah. But I just find it funny how Sol is just so used to it. Like, he knew what to do and he knew how to, like, calm everyone down. But also, you had a good point that you picked up on last episode was that he was talking, I'm pretty sure, Spanish. And he mentioned something about the cartel. Yeah. So, he was I mean, worried the cartel might have come for him. So, mm -hmm. there's obviously some sort of tie-in. It could be just one of his clients or whatever, and then him trying to get correct, him in a deal. Correct, correct. But yeah. I'm saying him having them as clients, and then obviously them coming after Walter at some point, and the relationship with Hank, there is that cool three-way tie-in. Again, yeah. kind of like Tuco, we see that Hank is and Walter are sort of always intertwined mm -hmm. in the meddling that they're, they're involved in. I think their stories are going to parallel a lot. They're going to be two sides of the same coin. It's very interesting to see that play out, because yeah. then they have those discussions that we love, and it's like, damn, you both know everything. Well, you don't know what my world is like. And Walter's like, I oh, damn well do. I've literally been there for the last like three major events. I know. I'm literally like the figurehead of what you're coming after, which is interesting because Hank is really out for the bad guy. So I wonder when and if he finds out that his brother-in-law is the bad guy, what he's going to do. That's going to be very conflicting for him. So Badger is out now, but I don't think he's going to last out very long. He's got a target on his back now. He's got history. So we'll see how Jesse and Walter deal with that. Can you really go sending him straight back on the streets after he's got a target on his back? I don't think so. I think he'll be cut loose for a bit. But we also know Badger overreacts a lot or can get very dramatic with things. So Yeah. And we also got to make sure that the cops don't get whiff of Jesse killing that guy with the ATM machine. Like, it's good for their rep on the streets, but definitely not where... And if any cop's going to get with it, it's going to be Hank, for sure. Yeah, well, we've got Saul helping them out now, but I think he's also going to make them really aware that they're going to be a lot more selective of, for who's working with them, and at the very least, not have ties connected to them if they do get caught, because with Badger, it's a close one, you know? If Badger's got nothing left, what's stopping him from ratting him out? Like, this is when the risks come into play. Yeah, true. It's all going to well increase money production but then there come risks with the moves you're going to make to get there. Yeah, much higher risks. To everyone on Patreon, thank you for supporting the channel. If you do want to join the Spartan Party family over there, as well as access several episodes ahead for early access, all the uncut reactions, we'll leave a link in our description. If you're watching over on YouTube and you enjoyed today's reaction, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel for more, and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this episode. All right, let's go. Let's go. I'm sorry, but these... These scans are not that difficult to read. I could take one look at Waltz and tell you immediately how he's doing. Really? Oh no, that Here calls for trouble. <coughs> oh. oh shit. <laughs> Fuck, and he's just trying to hide that from everyone. Are you okay? <coughs> yes. Paul, the poor can barely speak. Damn, man. That cold, sterile environment yeah, again. Yeah, I was going to say, it's such a shit machine. Oh, uh, how'd we do? 
did fine. It's not what I tell him. <laughs> I'm just a technician, Mr. White. Dr. Del Cavoli will go over the results with you next week. Sorry. Ah. <laughs> That's everything they were saying before. Yeah. Hospital's no good. That looks worse, doesn't it? I don't know how to read it, but I'm assuming his reaction says that. Well, I'm assuming that, like, white cloud really shouldn't be there. Shit. But I gotta tell you, the not telling your wife aspect, most people want to know why they suddenly got rich. Well, if she finds out, it's after I'm gone. Oh, oh shit. shit. Weeks. Maybe. Mm. Sorry to hear it. I was uh, hoping we could make some real money together. <laughs> this guy his priorities. How much money are we laundering? <clears throat> At this time, $16,000. That's like baby money for him. 16000 laundered at 75 cents on the dollar, minus my fee, which is 17%. Oh my God. First, congratulations, you just left your family a secondhand Subaru. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Like, he doesn't have enough to worry about. Dude, it's tragic, man. Walter's, like, running out of time fast. Actually, I... Uh... Sweat Lodge. I'm thinking I should go see Mom. Oh. Oh. Remember, he didn't want to tell his mom about the cancer as well at the start. You were expecting the, the news from the scan to be bad. Oh, she read him well, okay. I thought she was going to be upset. Stay positive with me here. I, I am. Positive is good. But he needs to be realistic. Because whatever he's going through, she's going through it too, you know? Well, Mom's going to leave you something if... if... I'm no longer around. Damn, he's always thinking about his family, man. Yeah, he doesn't seem to have a good relationship with his mother, so this is a lot. Well, his mother ain't ready for Heisenberg. She's got a new son in town. But is he going to do that? I don't know if he, he's going to visit his mum. He should. Yeah, But true. I think he's going to start cooking. Is it just excuse? Yeah. I actually think the news from the scan is going to be good. Perhaps you should prepare for that. Hmm. Interesting conundrum. Prepared to live. True. He's so prepared to die. Wow. You want to go to all the way to Santa Fe for a museum? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so they're both going to be blowing off their ladies. It's Walter. For sure. Oh, he's going to need him today. Hello, Jesse. Pick up. <sighs> Sorry, one sec. And now she'll get sauce up his little second life. Pounds of ice. Oh my god, man's on a mission. I'm going to a museum in Santa Fe, not like you need to know. You're going to a museum, huh? Yeah, <laughs> Georgia O'Keeffe. Georgia O'Keeffe? She's a painter and uh, he can't believe what he's hearing. <laughs> oh, I love their little dynamic. We have no choice, yeah, and why exactly is that? Because he's dying. Or methylamine. It's going bad. What? It's losing its chemical potency. Oh, I think you made that up. I think you were right. All right, all right. Go. Oh, he's way too loud. Talking about his list. She's not dumb. What? And risk talking to your mother? Have to be some emergency. Oh, that's a bit of foreshadowing there, I reckon. She's gonna have to call at some point. She's looking pretty big. Baby's gonna be ready soon. What's that, like six months? Probably more. Everyone looks different, but. 
He ain't going in that airport. How sad would it be if she gives birth, Walter meets the baby and then dies? I oh, know. Oh. What if he never gets to meet the baby? Yeah, true. Could end in so many ways. Straight back out. <laughs> he was committed. He's got the passport, he's got the ticket. <laughs> this man. <laughs> I love how he's got a new life every occasion. So you have to go all the way to the bloody airport. <laughs> oh, Walt. Oh my God, look what he's picking it up with. You brought a meth lab to the airport. What? You said we were in a hurry. I saved us a trip. <laughs> oh, Jesse sometimes really is bright. Sometimes. I know there could be like those dogs. There's like those like. <laughs> Damn, they're really going to the middle of nowhere. Yeah, this looks like different country land than before. Is it past the border? Who knows? God, more for me. How about something with some protein, maybe? Something green, huh? Well, well I respect it. I respect it. No service. How are you even alive? <laughs> <laughs> I know, and Walter's the one dying. Is that all we've got? Ten gallons? Or you plan on taking a bath in it? So we really have to stock up to be away for the whole like long weekend. No, not there. That is our workstation. Oh, our work station. <laughs> Love these two, man. Find a place where it won't get lost, hmm? Considering it's our only set, and we are a million miles from nowhere. Oh my god, it's gonna lo lo get lost. Get lost. They're gonna lose it. Tell me the battery is gonna go flat. Oh. The key somehow activate the battery or something. Shit. Oh my Holy god. Holy shit, dude. They have leveled up. Holy moly. Oh, at least they're becoming like mates a bit. Like, I like it. Jess is getting good at this. He's learning the science. <laughs> Once you piece together, it's official. <laughs> Last of it. Holy oh. shit. Successful weekend, now the car's not gonna work. What are we selling for these days? 40 a pound. $40,000? Hey, you said raise the prices. All right, that's... Damn. 40 times 42, minus distribution charges. $672,000. Oh shit, that, that's near his goal. What the hell? Each? Each? No. Yes. Hell yeah. Hey, come on, baby. Come on. Yes. Holy on. shit. Ah. Yeah, he did it. <laughs> he let loose for once. He broke character and went bang. Oh my god. Yeah, there goes all that money. Grand slam. Odd shower. A bed. Yeah, true. They have any shit conditions. Uh, supper rooms. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh. All the hope out the window. Oh, oh man, I hate this. Just when they were finally vibing with each other. Oh, the buzzer didn't buzz. The what? The buzzer, the buzzer, the buzzer is when you put the keys in to like let you know that the battery's on. I know that. It didn't buzz. Oh my oh, god. Shit. It's faulty. It's a faulty mechanism. Is this just a genetic thing with you? Is it congenital? <laughs> did, you, did your mother drop you on your head when you were a the baby? Buzzer? Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't leave the keys in the ignition the entire two days! I wanted to leave them on the counter, bitch! <laughs> bitch! I love why he's emphasized it. 
Man, man, they were doing so well. I, I like when they're happy with each other because they're always arguing. I know they're at each other again. <laughs> oh! Oh my god. I'm trying to funnel fuel into the generator. Oh my god. No shit, it's bad. Disgusting. Oh. <sighs> What's wrong with this thing? That's really cool. Uh, I am. No. Tommy's like gonna catch fire or something. Cause it went everywhere. It, yeah, yeah. It went in the like the, the fans. <sighs> and I saw it coming and I still got yeah, scared. Yeah, you nailed that. Oh, there goes the rest of their water. Oh my god, he had the fire hydrant. Jesse really is no good. Walter's gonna crack it. <laughs> well done. Jesse is always just. Well done. Oh. Yeah, J Jesse really botched it. He, he, he was trying, but. F uh... Holy shit, they're screwed, dude. There was a fire. Excuse me for thinking on my feet. Oh, is is that what you were, you were thinking? Ah, now that we've identified the problem, you were thinking that's the problem. Oh, Their pickering is so funny. It's probably how people see us. <laughs> it's becoming iconic. Your wife is not going to notice one little call. Oh. Mr. White, come on. Oh, we're going to have to call Saul. I reckon he's the only one. Yo, skinny, hey. Yeah, yeah. Listen, man, I need you to come pick us up. Skinny? Out of all people. Well, I need someone. Dirt road, it's right before the white sign with a three on it. Okay, now, now. Yeah. yeah He's realizing who the hell's going to find them. He's talking to the wrong person. <sighs> Good luck trying to find them. He's coming. <sighs> Damn, they can't even appreciate the scenery right now because they're stressed. He's on the dirt road. Good, good. You just crossed the river? Yeah. Have you seen anything? No. What river? Oh, no. Damn it. I knew it. I knew he'd be going the wrong direction. Oh, why do they always hit rock bottom right after peaking? I oh, know. Tell me they're not going to come back on Tuesday as well. Skylar's going to be snooping. Oh man, Jesse doesn't have a knack for his decision making being shit. But at the same time, if Walter gave him a little bit more attention, slow down, he would pick up on these things. Yeah. He's always so dismissive, so their relationship is a lot of work. He thought he'd do it himself. I give him credit, he really did do it. Like, he's just always problem solving. And his knowledge always comes in handy. Alright, Jesse, give us something. And they've got no water, shit food. They're really struggling. Ow. Hey. Oh, shit. Mr. White. Are his eyes open? Man's like mangled. Oh, how thirsty would you be, dude? They can be thirsty just watching it. He's really struggling, man. <coughs> Or being dried, saliva and everything wouldn't help too for the cough. For me, it doesn't spoil. Does it? Now you catch on. No. That's not why we're here. Oh, yeah, he's realizing the real reason. And that's not fair on Jesse. Like, they do have a relationship, whether Walter wants to believe it or not. He's going to lose something big in his life. Damn, man. Rock bottom. They were celebrating night of food and just chilling like mates and this happened. All right. Moment of truth. Let's see if all their hard work paid off. You almost wouldn't want to try because the hope of it all is better than failing. Yes. Yes. No way. <laughs> No, it started and stopped. Oh my god. You just want to cry. Yeah. You it's just like want to cry. That hope kept them going. After this, there's no hope left. <laughs> oh 
Holy shit. It's like fuck the money at this point. I know. Oh, he's coughing out blood. Oh, no. Holy shit. How can you take him seriously like that, though? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. All I ever managed to do was worry and disappoint them. Mm. And lie. Oh, God. Imagine that. That's like your last thoughts where you think you're gonna die you need to cut out all your loser crybaby crap right now and think of something scientific <laughs> get that brain working we got an entire lab right here all right yeah let's do something with it you make some kind of robot to get us help <laughs> a robot oh my battery God. or Man's having trouble staying alive. What if we just take some stuff off? Oh, something's been triggered. Walter's got an idea, but Jesse's gonna have to do it. The front wheels should have discs. Take them off and bring them to me. Right past, okay. Break right <laughs> Finally, some hope again. What are we building? You said it yourself. A robot. A battery. <laughs> He's gonna build his own battery. Oh my god. Jesus, man. Thank God he's got brains. I know. Battery is a galvanic cell. It's no more than an anode and a cathode separated by an electrolyte, right? Science class with Mr. White again. The sponge is the electrolyte? Yeah, well, no. The potassium hydroxide is the electrolyte. But yes, that's what I'm soaking the sponges in. He's getting it. Go, Jesse. A plus. What one particular element comes to mind? Hmm? <laughs> it's like his teacher side uh, coming out. Liar. Yeah. You guys walk. <laughs> Jesse. Oh my god. Until the moment. His face just went like dead. Positive. There's no way this works. Hey man, it's Heisenberg for a reason. This is the last of Jeff. Damn. That is good. That is very good. Okay. Here we go. <sighs> I'm more scared than they are. It's all been about this, man. They need this. You almost don't want to do it. This doesn't work, dude. This is death. Like, they finally had hope again. Do I get too excited? Oh my god, it's saying on. Yeah, they've learned their lesson not to be too rash. Oh my god. <laughs> All hail Heisenberg. Yeah. I can't even celebrate now, they're just defeated. Yeah. I know I can trust you to... Uh... Yeah. Whatever happens, your family will get your share. Oh. That's nice for their bond too. So he really doesn't think he's going to make it the next week or so. Or what the hell? He's really declining, but all those elements didn't help either. I'll be hearing from him. Yeah. I and hope this, so. Yeah. This is a soft spot for Jesse as well, after he's an aunt. Well, Jesse's the only one he's shared his whole life with. It's big. No, nah, I mean, it's only season two, dude. He, we need three more seasons. He's not going to die, but... Oh, the result well, day. It's going to come out, you think? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, get to the point. Well, I have your scan results. And you're showing signs of remission. So that's good news. Oh. I wasn't expecting it. Walt, your tumor has shrunk by 80%. What? What? 
There's no way. Oh, Wait, I... Sweetheart, you're right. It's very good news. It's very good news. <laughs> Oh my God. Holy shit. I want to cry with them. Dude, I was, I was not expecting good news. I'm <laughs> Oh, Hank. Hank, I love Hank. <laughs> oh, wow. Now that cough is the other thing we need to discuss. <laughs> yeah, let's hear about the cough. Fuck. See that scary looking thing there? Mm. That's tissue inflammation. It's a reaction to your radiotherapy. Yeah, there's always consequences. Okay, so that's the extra coughing. Coughing up some blood. You probably have a tear in your esophagus from the coughing, and that can be very serious. You could rupture and bleed to death. Oh, oh my, my God. God. With something like this, you have to call me immediately. He couldn't. He had no cell phone service. We'll have more to discuss in the next few weeks. But for now, I'd say that you folks have earned some celebrating. Damn, dude, the relief. I know. I mean, it also came with its fair share of risks, but yeah, far out. Take the win. Yeah, he's shaking probably from just so much emotion and anxiety. And... Well, he thought he was going to die. Oh shit. No way. No way. Why are you saying no way? Do you... Well, what I'm thinking is he's pissed off because he's done all this because he was going to die. And then what it's all been for nothing like he could have just got on a normal well he needed to pay for his treatments as well yes but he would have been in debt and would have worked on that so i don't know i don't know if that's what he's feeling I maybe don't... maybe he never thought he'd get cured and so yeah he he's wondering what was it all for perhaps i don't know it's sort of hard to read that is he just so much anger for everything he's gone through and had to endure for this damn cancer i don't know I don't know, there, there would be a lot of emotion there. And I do get it. Um, You know, people think that they're going to die and then they're alive. Like, they go through all this, like, emotional turmoil, like, you know, I deserve to die. I don't want to be here. And you kind of accept it, you know. And then you almost don't know how to live life again. Like, you don't know how to live. And I don't know exactly, but the way I interpreted that water was he feels life again, but he doesn't deserve it or doesn't it's like he doesn't know what to do with it which mm. is the which is a whole other thing like you accept your death and then you're told you have to live that's hard that's very hard it was hard for me to fully embrace the celebration because i'm just expecting that there's going to be an episode in the future where it's grown back by 80% or it's oh, grown back reckon? by uh, yeah i it's way too soon for it to get cured and i'm not sure i'm convinced that this kind of show gives you a happy ending. Yeah. That's where I'm at. Now, I don't know how things are going to happen, and maybe it will, but I feel like it's going to really pull out our heartstrings. So getting the good news is bittersweet for me because I'm like, look, it's only mid-season two. I'm waiting for a later season where it's actually grown back more aggressive or something. There's going to yeah. be there's going to be a catch to it, and I don't know what happens in the end, but... I do have my suspicions of how it will end. Yeah. I have like a scenario in my head. Same. Where, well, we guys will discuss it. All right. My scenario is like, oh, Walter makes the money. Yep. Maybe his daughter is just born. No, I think she'll be a bit older because she's, Skylar's ready to pop. Oh, well, I don't know. I mean, we've got two seasons and it's only been like six months and that's so that's older. Yeah. Anyway, she might be a little bit older, but I don't know how old. Yeah. That wasn't the key detail at all. Yeah. <laughs> and remember, it was my theory. <laughs> Okay. And then... So your theories are already wrong? <laughs> something like they just find out last minute what he's been doing, who he is. It all comes full circle. Hank finds out, but then he's, on his, he's sort of on his deathbed anyway. And it's like, well, it doesn't matter now. They can almost just be like, appreciate what it was all for. Maybe the secrets end right last minute. 
<laughs> no. To be fair, you threw up a little bit because taking me about ages. I had it better in my head, but I'm going to reword it another time. Go, Mastermind, no. tell us yours. <laughs> now, I, I think so. You say arrogant. You never know. Because they're not going to find out in his deathbed. That's too much of a happy ending. Like, they're go- they're going to find out and there's going to be conflict about that. Like, way I didn't mean his on his deathbed. deathbed. <laughs> I meant close to it. I don't think way before. Anyways. Um, <laughs> I think Walter will make his money. He will obviously go through a lot of stuff. He will make his money. His family will know by this point he might have lost everything. He might die alone or, you know, he's going to die. I think 100% Walter's going to die. That's what I'm agreeing with. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And I think Jesse might excel. You know, he's learning the science slowly, slowly. And I think Jesse might have a happy ending in that way. Something like that. Jesse will be like Walter's legacy passed on. Yeah, so it's always like a bittersweet thing. I mean, yeah, I mean, you didn't really go into much detail about how the ending would happen. Well, I'm just but saying. I like... agree with those points. I went, for, <laughs> I went a lot more specific. You, you just shit can me, but then you, you, you went macro. No, because I knew that Jesse. I mean, I knew that the family would find out about Walter. They, they can't not cover that in a season. That would be a wasted opportunity. Hundred percent, hundred percent. I didn't necessarily mean last minute. I meant maybe the last season. I just meant like towards the end, I was talking about the general direction we're approaching. Mm. My premise was that I think he's going to die. Yeah. And that I think, yeah, I, I'm expecting the cancer to come back aggressively at some point. And almost a moment where all the lies stop. He maybe can just be truly honest with everything he's done to his family, but yeah. what he's done it for. But at the end of the day, it may not have to be the cancer. Like... There's obviously other risks and other things that can happen through treatment and radiation and things like that. Obviously, you know, there's a tear in his esophagus potentially. So. Imagine how ironic would it be if the cancer gets cured and oh. some sort of poisoning from all the cooking is what kills him. Mm. I mean, he's taken all the steps, but I don't know if that really fills out everything. That would be, yeah. Uh, anyway, I don't know. We're going to have to tangent here. We will see. Um, what an episode though. Like that was a really good one for Jesse and Walter's relationship. They really built on that. Yeah, really. It just dragged us on. Every minute was just tense. Yeah. You, yeah. It's amazing. They pulled out a whole episode of just being stuck in the van. Yeah, I know. But you can get a lot out of their relationship. Just how resourceful they are. You know, there is that, you see a bit of that teacher student relationship sometimes as well. That was so sweet. How, you know, Walter's getting excited, getting into his teacher mode. Jesse looks like he's getting it. <laughs> this is the wrong thing. That yeah. was, honestly, that was one of the best moments of the show. That was pretty funny. But it's they're a good duo, you know. Jesse often gets Walter's brain stirring and gets him to get that idea. Yeah. Jesse does need to learn to be a bit more cautious. And Walter can probably take a little more time with him when he's giving instructions or whatever. Just mm. if he actually takes the time to just be present. Yeah. He'll identify those mistakes, whereas he's always distracted and yelling at Jesse and then just does some dumb shit that was easily yeah. preventable and they only find that in hindsight, but I guess we needed a, a, a plot as well, so. Again, how sweet though, like Jesse is willing to take care of his family, Walter's family, if, if things go sideways and obviously at this point that's not happening, but yeah, it just says a lot about their relationship. Although they don't act like that toward one another, they deep down do care. And I think if something happened to either one of them, yeah, the other one's going to come back swinging. Yep. And now they've got to just sell everything they've cooked and make some bank, which is almost the amount of money. Somehow, I don't think it's going to go smoothly. I mean, we do know the cartel are going yeah. to be on their trail, but this money theoretically would put Walter almost completely out of his debt in, in his goals and everything. Yeah. So Well that's interesting, isn't it? Because this is probably why the cartels aren't getting on their back, because they're making the big guns. But then also what I found quite intriguing was forget the math, the money is addictive. Like, oh we can just put four days straight and then this is the amount of money that we make. Straight away he was like, no, we're going until we like finish our supplies. So that's pretty crazy. And then that also comes full circle with they're going to need more supplies soon. So that's also going to be another issue. Mm, Yeah, true. Well, guys, we hope you enjoyed our reaction to this episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more, and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this episode. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you guys on our next reaction. See you guys.